Welcome back. So I decided to do this video for you. I've had a lot of requests. A lot of people like when I do cooking videos. They're not the best. My camera person is Destiny. So yeah. So don't mind my crazy looking appearance. It's Saturday. It's cleaning day for us in my household. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to make empanadas. You can do so many different empanadas. You can be creative. But the one that my family really, really loves is the chicken empanadas. So I got two chicken breasts. I am not going to touch them because it's kind of nasty. But they're decent sized chicken breasts. Two chicken breasts are perfectly fine because, you know, when you boil them, it's easier if you boil them and then you cook them like I do because when you boil them, you can shred them up and it expands more. There's more for you to be stuffing in the empanada. So you're going to need two chicken breasts. Or um, boneless skinless ch chicken breast, that's the best. You're going to need some cheese. Now, this is the cheese I had in hand. This is the cheese that we normally use. We use any kind of cheese that we have. It's whatever is in our refrigerator is the cheese that we use. So I have some monster cheese from Kraft. You use whatever cheese you like, like I said. Now, I'm going the lazy route and using these pre-made empanadas, like dough. It's easier if you make your own empanada, but I don't have time to sit here and make empanada. And then by the time that I want to fry them, I just kind of like lose interest in making them. So we have that. We have some salt and some pepper. We also have adobo because we want to water our, we want to flavor our water if that makes any sense because the chicken is raw and you don't want you, you know, you want the chicken to have some kind of flavor while it's cooking in there. So we have that. I also have some sofrito that we're going to be using at the end when I shred it all up and mix it. And then I also have some tomato sauce. So in here, there's nothing but just my pot with some water. And I have it up here. And I'm going to add some adobo. Just sprinkle a decent, you know, a decent amount of it. Just my pot when it has water in it and it has nothing in it it tends to rise up a little bit but that's okay i'm just gonna sprinkle some salt a generous amount and grind my pepper and then you're also going to need eggs as well um and i will show you guys that when it comes so chicken in this water and let it boil for like 45 minutes or so and then we'll be right back all right guys so one of the chickens they're both done but i'm shredding one of them and i'm just going to show you very simple just two forks shred it and then you know pull it you know you know you know what shredding is so i'm going to do that off camera i haven't done anything else i bought one of my big skillets out here and then after my chicken, both of my chickens are done. I am going to show you guys how I do everything else and we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I already got my chicken shredded up decently. So you just want to sit it there. I'm going to put some more adobo on it just because the flavor is on the water. You still want some flavor in the chicken. So just sprinkle a little bit of it, a little bit of salt. Even though that if you read the ingredients back here, it has salt already. I always add salt. That's just me. I don't know. Josh has I'm like, I love salt. Grinding up some pepper. And then I'm going to add some sofrito. A decent, like, he heaping spoonful of it. And I didn't even have a spoon. We're going to use the can of tomato sauce. I'm just gonna pour it in there and then I'm just gonna put water in it and then whoosh it up like this and then put it back in there because you want all of the remaining of the tomato sauce to be in here and well, I'll be right back so now I have my can filled up water I'm just gonna fill it up like that and if you still have some more tomato sauce in there you can again put more water in it if you want to I choose not to because I don't want it super you know, I don't really want it that watery. So now I'm just gonna like let all these flavors mix in together. And also what's good, if you don't want to use just plain water, the same water that you boiled um, 
your chicken in, it has flavor already because of the chicken and the seasonings that you put in it. You can get the can and just dip it in there and then throw it in there if you want to. So I am going to set this on medium high heat and let, let it come to a boil. And then after that, I will show you guys what's next. All right guys, so I tasted it a little bit and even though I put all of my seasonings in it, I still wanted a little extra Spanish kick to it because obviously I'm Spanish. So I used one little small packet of this I'm going to show you. It comes like this in a packet of three. You just rip one off and you throw it. You can use this for every single thing, anything that you want. You can use it with black beans. You can use it with chicken, fish, chicken. meat, anything like that that you want to. Soups, anything, anything that it says back here, you can do it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I used one of these little packets in my thing. It's still at the top, so it seems a little bit orangey looking. So I'm just going to mix that up a little bit more. And then again, I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit more because it seems like it's not heating up super fast like I would like it to. So then after that, I will be right back and I will show you guys what's the next step. All right, guys. So this is boiling and I'm just going to let it boil for a little bit. I'm not really worried about it. I'm standing right in front of it. So I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know empanadas can be whatever you want it to be. I like to experiment in the sense of... <laughs> I like to experiment in the sense of I like making chicken and cheese. Normally if I have bacon, I do bacon, chicken, and cheese. I do beef, like ground beef, and then I add raisins to it, and then I add potatoes to it. You can do so many different empanadas. You can do sweet empanadas with cream cheese and guayaba. Guayaba is a fruit from Cuba. My I really, can do fish. I haven't tried fish, but I've done shrimp. Empanada, the same way I'm doing the chicken one, I've done the, uh, the shrimp one as well. And we've done so many different ones. So I just wanted to say, just be creative, just do different things. I've done breakfast empanadas, and it's just, you, you make them, and if your family really, really likes those, then you continue doing it. If your family doesn't like them, then you just, you know, push it to the side. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you. Just be creative when you're making your empanadas. Whatever you have in your refrigerator or your pantry or your freezer, you make it up to your own. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I'm going to do one on camera and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera because there's a lot. So I already beaded an egg in here and that is how we're going to be able to close it. So you're gonna need a fork and a spoon and I'm going to show you each step, okay? So I already grabbed my cheese and it's, you know, regular sandwich cheese and I spread it in half so it could be enough for, you know, two empanadas instead of one. So I'm, my, empanada, my mixture is already done boiling because, you know, cooking up in the flavor because we already boiled it. So I'm going to grab some of the chicken mixture. You want some of the sauce as well. I already have my empanada dough right here. So I'm just going to transfer it and put it right in the middle like this. Now if you want to, you can add more chicken, less chicken. It's up to you how you want to. Okay, so we're gonna be using the spoon. Like I said, the spoon is the way that we're going to be spreading the egg to close. I want you guys to see, you're gonna use the egg to close the top part of the empanada, just like this. You push it all around with your fingers. As you can see, it's these two fingers. You push. You push it down to where the empanada is. So then you grab your fork, and then that's how you make that little pretty like design on it that most empanadas have. And again, mainly is these two fingers. So I'm using this one to push down, and this one, my thumb, to hold it. And then I'm just holding this side so it doesn't, you know, come off and you go like that around some of them look cute some of them don't it just depends how you're feeling in that moment but there you go that is how I make my empanadas 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And another tip is with empanadas, you can freeze them if you like to. You can use the same little foil that comes with it, you know, use another foil, aluminum foil, put them in a Ziploc baggie, date them however you want to do them and freeze them and then you, you know, pull them out, dethaw them out and you have empanadas. So let me know if you guys want to see me make more empanada recipes. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.